Now, Star Wars, obviously, is a huge franchise. The Force Unleashed was a great game. Uh, in terms of things in the Star Wars universe, like the Force, what's realistic and what is completely fantasy? Well, the Force, first of all, holds the galaxy together. You tap into it mentally. You're allowed to control other people's thoughts and manipulate objects around you, like, for example, a lightsaber. Aspects of this Force we are working on today. We cannot begin to decipher the outlines of thinking via the electroencephalogram and the MRI, which gives us living pictures of thoughts ricocheting like a ping pong ball inside the brain. We now have computers that can read these thoughts. In fact, in Japan, we even have a device that allows you to see what you are seeing on a small scale. Eventually, we'll be able to photograph a dream, for example. That's well within the laws of physics, to photograph a dream. And then we'll energize a computer, which can then manipulate objects around you. And the force allows you to control other people's motions as well. We can't do that yet, but we now know that certain parts of the brain are connected to certain parts of the body, and we'll be able to energize them, perhaps, with electromagnetic radiation. So we'll be able to actually manipulate arms and legs of a person using simply electromagnetic radiation beamed into the brain. Realize that this technology is very primitive at the present time, but we're getting there very fast. Already, people who are totally paralyzed, totally paralyzed, can be hooked up to a laptop computer and move wheelchairs, play video games, do crossword puzzles, and write emails, even if you are totally paralyzed. I'm stronger than you realize. Okay, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate your insight into these very, very interesting topics. And stay tuned to a future episode of Game Trailers TV for more on my conversation on the science of gaming with Dr. Micho Kaku.